loves, it's Brianna. Welcome back to my channel. Today I'm gonna to be sharing with you my favorite Mediterranean diet recipes. So you'll get to do a little bit of cooking with me in this video. And I'm gonna share my very favorite foods because I try to follow the Mediterranean diet because it's really not a diet. It's more like a lifestyle. It's really fresh, healthy foods, lots of fruits and veggies. There's still wine, which we all know I need that. These are my very favorite recipes. I'm really excited to share them with you. I know in all of my blogs and what I eat in the day videos, I've spoken a lot about the Mediterranean diet. So I hope that this helps give you some ideas if you wanna try out this sort of lifestyle for a way to eat a little bit healthier that's really good for your heart. And if you're new here, I hope you click that red subscribe button, join in all of our family's fun, and make sure to follow me on my socials at Bits of Brie because when you're seeing this video, we're actually gonna be on a family vacation and I'm really excited to take you along via the gram. But all right, let's dive in to my very favorite recipes for the Mediterranean diet. First, we're going to get started with breakfast ideas for the Mediterranean diet, and I would love to know in the comments, what do you like to eat for your breakfast? Lately, I've been rotating between three Mediterranean diet style breakfast. First is this Greek yogurt with berries and granola. I love this lemon meringue flavored yogurt, but you can get any Greek yogurt of your choice. And it's just important because Greek yogurt is packed with a lot of protein. And then I will add in some fresh fruits. Today, raspberries and pomegranates, but again, you can pick any fruits of your choice. And then I add in some granola with almonds. The second Mediterranean diet breakfast option I love is quite similar. I use high protein oatmeal. My favorite is a cranberry almond by Quaker. And then I use milk instead of water to cook it so that it is even higher in protein. Then I top it off with some fresh berries. And on this day, I used raspberries and blueberries. The third Mediterranean diet breakfast idea has gotten super popular, but avocado toast. I mash up one fresh avocado with a squeeze of lemon, add salt and pepper, and then spread this on top of my whole wheat toast. Moving on to some lunch and dinner Mediterranean diet meal ideas, the first one is a Greek quesadilla. I use whole wheat tortillas for these quesadillas and I add some garlic, diced peppers and onions and mushrooms and I saute them in olive oil with some salt and pepper. Once those are cooked, I add them to the top of a whole wheat tortilla, sprinkle on some spinach and some mozzarella cheese and some feta cheese and then I sandwich another whole wheat tortilla on top. Then I spray some olive oil pan in a pan, warm each side until all of the cheese is melted and the tortilla is a little bit browned and then I will slice these up and serve them with a scoop of hummus to dip and some Greek yogurt drizzle sauce, which is just some lime juice, salt, pepper, and plain Greek yogurt all mixed together and voila, a Greek quesadilla. Now you could always add chicken to this, but I really like this quesadilla if you are trying to eat plant-based. Next Mediterranean diet meal is a white pizza. I have whole grain pizza crust and I'm spreading some organic Alfredo sauce on it. Then I'm adding spinach, artichoke hearts, sliced mushrooms, mozzarella cheese, and feta cheese. And I always brush some olive oil on the crust and season it with garlic salt. And then I bake this at 400 degrees until the cheese is melted and bubbly and the crust is slightly browned and you've got a delicious white pizza. This next Mediterranean diet dinner is so easy. It's Mediterranean crock pot chicken. All you do is add chopped garlic and onions, then some thin sliced chicken breast on top of that. Then I added some roasted red peppers from a jar, a few spoonfuls of capers just to your taste, and then some Greek olives. And I squeeze out the juice of one whole lemon, mix it with an Italian seasoning packet, and then I add this to the crock pot, drizzle it all over the top of the chicken, and also add a drizzle of olive oil. You set this for four hours in the crock pot and it turns out amazing every single time. It's so easy. And I love to serve this with a fresh Greek salad. So for my Greek salads, I take Italian lettuce, I slice cucumbers, slice red peppers, add Greek olives, feta cheese, salt and pepper, add a drizzle of olive oil and balsamic vinegar, and it is the most delicious, crunchy salad. All my bacon. <laughs> the final Mediterranean diet meal idea that I love and so many of you saw on my Instagram stories and asked for the recipe is a pasta carbonara. It's also so easy. I take whole wheat penne, cook that up, 
at the same time cook up a bag of frozen peas in boiling water. Then I slice up turkey bacon and cook that until it's browned and crisp in a frying pan. Then once the pasta and the peas are cooked, I drain them, add them to the large frying pan with the bacon, and then I add in half a jar of this basil pesto sauce. It's so good. And then I just mix it all together, heat it up on the stove until I hear it sizzling a little bit, and then I will serve this with mozzarella cheese sprinkled on top. And it seriously is so easy and so delicious. And the best part of the Mediterranean diet is all of these dinner ideas pair perfectly with a glass of red wine. So, manja. All right, I hope you enjoyed all of these recipes for the Mediterranean diet. If you decide to try any, don't forget to tag me on your socials or come back here in the comments and let me know which of these recipes you've tried, which ones you like, so that other people when they watch this video can see that in the comments as well. Hope you subscribe if you're new and I will see you in my next video. Bye loves.